Okay, go ahead. We just used a Dremel tool to shape up our new porch leaner, and we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, we're getting into a little bit of wood whispering, a little bit of wood carving, <laughs> contouring, manipulating, I'm like a I'm like an airbender. Well, that seems like a very big explanation for we have a new porch leaner for you. So instead of doing our two picket version, our vertical porch leaner, we're gonna do something a little bit wider. We're gonna go 24 by 24. We did something similar at Halloween last year. We did these cute little gnomes on our fence pickets. This time we're back with our gnomes and we're gonna make them summer gnomes. Each of them have their own theme and we're gonna make it just a little bit smaller so you can do two, one of two things. You can either put it on your front porch as a leaner or you might want to stick it out like in your mulch bed or out in your yard on a stake. Ooh. So a stake sign. We've never like done scare one. Like scarecrows. Yeah. Yeah. Like gnome scarecrows. Yeah. Scare scare gnomes. <laughs> scare gnomes. Yeah. So we <laughs> haven't done a stake a stake sign before. Uh, I guess that sounds a little different. But anyway, we haven't done that before, so we're looking to try something new this week. Yeah, we've only done vegetarian signs up right. until now. Yeah, only vegetarian signs. And we're looking to do a new technique. We're going to show you some contouring on this MDF to really, like we're doing a mushroom, and we're planning to contour the outside edges of that mushroom. It's going to look round real. Them. It's going to look like a real mushroom. Yeah, so we got a new technique to show you as well. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We needed some pickets. We have the little 36 inch, three and a half inch wide pickets. Yep, we normally use smaller. the 72 inch dog eared pickets, but we thought we'd do something a little bit different, make this one a little bit smaller. We're actually gonna cut these down uh, to 24 inches. Then we're gonna use some MDF to cut out our gnomes. Now, if you don't have a Glowforge to cut your own, I wanted to share that we do offer this kit in our store. This is gonna be four separate gnomes and we're gonna put them on four pickets, but we're also gonna sell like the little gnome set for each picket individually. So if you wanted to make like a 36 inch, 36 inch two picket version, you can do that. We need some glue and some nails, some brads. These are an inch and a quarter. And we're gonna be using our Country Chic paints to paint all of our little gnome accents. They're going to be so cute. We're also gonna need some sandpaper, a file, a rasp, something to help you carve that wood up. Kim's gonna use a Dremel tool. I got a little Dremel with a little sanding bit on the end. And I think that's it. I think that's it. Step two, we're gonna make all of our cuts. We're gonna cut these pickets down to 24 inches. Actually, late breaking. Yeah. We're gonna cut these pickets down to 30 inches, four pickets down to 30 inches, and no. then one at 24 inches. I thought 24 inches looked a little short, so they would just be this tall. Well, here, let's, So I changed my mind. What's well, this, 24 inches? Uh, yeah, no, okay. That's 30. That's good, yeah, let's do it, let's do it. It's 30 Hold inches. On. Let me see, 24 is here. 24 inches. Down a little bit even further. 20. Up, 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 right there. 24 inches. So, that seems like kind of a small little guy, right? I think it needs to be 30 inches. Let's go 30. All right, we'll go 30 inches. So it's gonna be 30 by 24. <laughs> so we're gonna cut four of these down at 30 inches, and then one of these for the cross brace, 24 inches. And we'll make all of these all of these cuts. Oh, with our fan with my, favorite. With my buddy, your buddy, <laughs> pocket saw. Every time, he's so dusty. Safety first, Garrett. little gnome pieces out of this quarter inch MDF. These are 20 by 20 sheets. But if you don't have a Glowforge, we offer the kit in our store. <laughs> <laughs> Step three, we're gonna pin our pickets together using a, a one and a quarter inch brad. The nail, not the guy. And a little bit of glue. I think Kim spaced these out to eye, right? You yeah, all I did them. was just lay them out, put this 24-inch board 
on top and then just eyeball the spacing. It doesn't have to be perfect. Should I eyeball the gluing like here? Well, you know, I was just thinking about that. Is this going to be enough to really hold it? Yeah, this will be enough to hold it. Okay, then I would say, yeah. Right here? Yeah. Oh, should I glue this and then flip it over? Yeah. Oh, you should definitely glue it on that side. Now, if you do not have a nail gun like we do, you can always use a gr original Gorilla Glue. It will hold these pickets. Just put a little clamp on there or something real heavy and it holds it like a nail. But we're doing it this way in order to keep moving and not have to wait for that dry, the glue to dry. That's a lot of glue. This is just enough. It's like the perfect amount of glue. Okay. Do we want to see if these are? You might want to come down a little bit because we've got stuff to sit on top of the pickets and below, so if anything. I think we have plenty of room. Okay, you think we so? We have an extra six inches now. Oh, okay, that's right. I think they might actually start looking a little sparse. That's right. I forgot I adjusted the design. Last minute. Last minute design change. That's something new. That's something I haven't dealt with before. <laughs> I, don't, I don't typically do that, do I? No, I mean, very rarely do we do it every week. <laughs> Are we nailing this to the to the tabletop here? I don't know. We'll find out in a second. <laughs> I see you're shooting them at an angle. Like it might be close. Oh no, we're not close. Oh, no, we're not close. <laughs> not even close. All right. Look at that, that's looking cute already. Yeah, it's like a little piece of fence. Look at that. Stay out of this two foot area right here. Fence it all. It's like a gate. We made a little gate. Step four. Oh geez. <laughs> Time for the contour. I didn't know that was coming. <laughs> I wasn't gonna give you a heads up because you would have said no. Yeah. So I gotta use some it's sandpaper. It's a metal file. He's flipping it's, around. It's a heavy metal file. Yeah. So we're gonna use the file, some sandpaper, <laughs> the, the Dremel, Dremel tool. You know, scratchy stuff. Kind of start rounding out some of these pieces. Gonna round out my flowers. Gonna round out my mushrooms. So we have each gnome on a board, and we each of each gnome has several accent pieces. Of course, he has his hat and his beard and his nose, but each one is a different theme. So this one is a mushroom theme, and he's got several mushrooms that are gonna be on the picket below him. So we're gonna round out those mushroom he's, tops. He's the mushroom king. The mushroom king. And then we have one that's bee themed. And so we're gonna round out the honey drips. It's queen bee. And this one is a ladybug theme. And I think we're just gonna round out the caterpillar that's gonna be on the little um, cross brace piece. So cute. And then the wings, his the wings of the, Some of the shells. ladybug. Yeah. And then what do you have here? Oh, this is I the sunflower. Yep. And he's going to round out the petals of some of the sunflower leaves. Maybe put a vein in this leaf here. Oh, we're really going to get yeah, fancy we're gonna get with creative. it. We're going to get creative. Going to get bold. Each gnome has several pieces to go with it to really highlight and accent that picket. So there are lots of pieces with this one, and I would suggest do the, doing them one at a time. Now we paint. We're gonna paint all of our little pieces. Not everything got contoured, but some of them did and they look pretty cool. They look really cool. I am super impressed. I like the flower. Yeah, that one looks the coolest. You have those little pieces in for the leaves, the yep. indentations, so, petals. Uh, just I got a lot of little pieces to paint. I'm gonna use some uh, makeup sponges. 
We're going to use our country pieces. chic paints. We're mostly using red, white, yellow, and green. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I tried to keep everything pretty. <clears throat> Now, I don't know which of the reds we're going to use for the ladybugs. We're either going to use, <clears throat> what do you guys think? I got Devotion or uh, Paint the Town. One is a darker red, one's a brighter red. I say Paint the Town is the ladybugs and then Devotion is the mushrooms. Uh, this bright for the mushrooms? Yeah. yeah, I don't know. See, where that's where, that's where I'm at. I don't know. But I have the two reds here. We're going to play that by ear. The greens are light green, so we're going to do Rustic Charm. And then the white will do Simplicity. And then I have three yellows here, too. And uh, we may have to mix those up a little. I have Luminous. That's our bright yellow. We have Fresh Mustard, which is the darker yellow. And then this buttercream, which is called Yellow Wellies. It's more of a softer yellow. Uh, we may have to do some custom mixing on these. Oh, you think so? Well, I mean, yeah. Change of plans, we decided we're gonna stay in this. I wanted to leave it raw. I thought it would age, it would age gracefully. Well, but once I put the pieces on, it really just looked unfinished. So I didn't feel like... Too raw. Yeah, it was too raw. Too raw. So I tested some stains and I think I've decided on this gray stain. I think with the gray, it's not too dark, but yet leaves enough contrast with the white beards yeah. and the white hair. So this is what we're gonna try. It's still poppable. Yeah, yeah. Step six. Now it's time to bring it all together with a little bit of Starbond glue. Just gonna start gluing all our little pieces together, all our little parts and pieces. Glue them together and put them on the boards. Alrighty. guys think I mean some of this stuff looks so realistic I thought that was a real flower I mean this thing is amazing how cute is this door leaner porch leaner it is so cute and then to round these mushrooms round that honey I love this contouring like we said we hadn't tried it before yeah. I think it's a really cool technique I think, it, I think it gives it a whole different look I like how we kept the crisp edge on some and rounded some really lets you see the difference between the two techniques. And this new file is adorable. And like we said, we'll sell them separately or as a whole, but I mean, look at these ladybugs. <laughs> this is so cute. My Garrett, favorite are the bees. Yes, Garrett did the design work on this and he did a great job. Those bees are so silly. They just look silly with their crazy little eyes, but they're adorable. I, I love to, this file. Everybody's got the same face, so it ties together. <laughs> yeah. Big thank you to all of our patrons. We love you guys. I will put this file up for you guys later today. And then, uh, I think we are about out of time. So if you're not going to join us for the patron after show, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. All right. Got to make it official. This is a lot, a lot heavier than I thought. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, my finger. My finger's not strong enough. I need two fingers. There we go. This is a good old two finger. <laughs> <laughs>